Welcome back, everybody. We're here today, brand new Cabral concept. We want to talk about the brain, the aging brain, and how to improve memory, cognition, and really speed in terms of how you process information in everyday life. One of the things that happens as we begin to age is we actually start to decrease, we produce less of something called brain-derived neurotropic factor. I'm just gonna refer to it as BDNF. Today's show is part of a three-part series. It's okay if you didn't listen to the first two yet, but I am gonna link them up here for you today, as well as all of our brain-based episodes. And the reason is, is that my goal with an everyday show is to continue to layer on that foundational knowledge you have of your health Health of your body, of your brain, so that nothing in life sneaks up on you, so that you don't have to worry about the heart disease, the blood pressure and strokes, and the high glucose levels that can lead to type 2 diabetes, the cancer, or Alzheimer's, dementia, Parkinson's. And the reason is, is that we know early detection, how to look for them, teach that inside of high performance health, but also, I share it so much on the podcast too, but also we know how to reverse these things. And so that is the goal is to continue just to continue to walk that line, walk the path in life. You don't need to be perfect. The goal is just to continue to get better each and every day, just a little bit better as well. So today I'm going to make it even easier. I'm just going to give you specific supplements that were used. I'll share with you the foods first, just a couple foods first, but I'm going to share with you the supplements that have been most effective in increasing BDNF. And if you improve BDNF, you improve brain function because it's basically protective for your brain. So all of the different neurons in your brain that are responsible for essentially gathering and storing and then recalling all your thoughts, your memories, um, as well as decreasing inflammation, beta amyloid plaque, which can lead to Alzheimer's and much more, BDNF helps with that. So it would make sense, right, to be able to implement more foods and um, different supplements in your diet that might be helpful. That's up to you, but I at least want to give you those here today. So I named about a dozen on last week's show. So I want you to check those out, all right? Again, I'll link them all up today. Everything will be at stephencabral.com slash 2778. So definitely check that out because last week I went over a dozen different supplements plus about a half a dozen different foods. Some of those foods, I'm happy to share a few here today, but I'd love you to check back in the last show. Some of those were things like wild blueberries, really powerful, or turmeric, which debatable if it's a food, it's really an herb, right? Like nobody's eating turmeric for the most part. You're using it in your sauces and you know, you're adding it maybe supplements or smoothies. Um, dark chocolate was another. And I, I mentioned that specifically today because I have four specific supplements that I want to take you through. And I actually believe that dark chocolate should be in this list. However, the pilot study that was done did not include dark chocolate. Now, when I'm talking about chocolate, I'm not talking about the 60% dark chocolate with the, you know, the, the cocoa liqueur and the, all the different additives to it. No, I'm talking about real dark chocolate, right? Like 100% dark chocolate. Now, it could be 80%. I'm okay with that. But you really you want to get as close to 100% as possible that has the amazing amount of polyphenols, all the flavonoids, all of those things that not only are the powerful antioxidants, but brain protective as well, producing more BDNF. So I looked far and wide for a specific head-to-head -head study with dark chocolate. Couldn't find one. Lots of studies showing that it, the polyphenols in it absolutely do increase BDNF. So don't forget about your dark chocolate if you're not someone that has uh, issues surrounding it, histamine issues or you know any type of issues around it, then, then you can absolutely add some dark chocolate. And last week, I believe last week, I went into how much dark chocolate. So you can check that out. I'll be talking a little bit more about it. And on Friday's show, I'll be going over uh, which is tomorrow's show, I'll be going over specifically two chocolates that I can recommend for you as well as your children as well. So it won't be necessarily as bitter that are both healthy, uh, easy to bake with, easy to cook with, two good brands, very inexpensive. You can find them pretty much anywhere. But I was able to, I struggled to find a 100% dark chocolate that only had one ingredient. And I'll share that with you tomorrow. All right, so let's get into now what are the four supplements that I was talking about. What is this study? So I'll link it up today, 2778. So what they did is they divided people 
between the ages of 18 to 55 years old, and they randomly divided them into five groups, with each one taking 100 milligrams. So that's why this was a standardized dose, okay? Standardized dose. 100 milligrams of dark chocolate would almost be an entire bar of dark chocolate. It'd be about uh, 75% of it. So just letting you know, like that would be the head-to-head. -head. All right, so 100 milligrams of whole coffee fruit extract, green coffee caffeine powder, grape seed extract, green coffee bean powder, or silicon dioxide, which was the placebo, so it would have no effect. And there was a sixth group that took absolutely nothing. So that was like even a greater placebo, I guess, right? <laughs> like to see if the people who took nothing also increased BDNF. All right, so it gave this study basically two control groups, which was great to see. So the plasma BNF was taken before taking the supplements and at 30 minute intervals for two hours. The study found a significant 137% increase in BDNF in the whole coffee fruit extract group. By contrast, participants taking green coffee caffeine powder had a 43% increase in BDNF, while those taking grape seed powder, which is a very powerful antioxidant, by the way, it's literally the seeds inside of grapes, they crush those and they put those into a nutritional supplement. Uh, they found a 30% increase in the grape seed powder extract or grapeseed powder. Caffeine was ruled out as a major contributing factor because the coffee fruit extract is at most only 2% caffeine. While the green coffee caffeine powder is 72.8% caffeine and the grape seed extract has no caffeine. The placebo, no treatment group, and the green coffee bean extract, which has the 2% coffee, did not have any increase in BDNF Theorem. Okay, so placebo, no treatment, and green coffee bean extract, none. What did work? Straight caffeine. Believe it or not, straight caffeine, whether it be from a coffee bean or probably from a green tea, would work. I would love to see green tea in this with the ECG, ECGC head to head too. I'd love to see that with the dark chocolate. And and we know that the caffeine alone worked. We know that the grape seed powder works, but the biggest winner out of every one of these supplements that we know of so far was actually the coffee fruit extract, coffee fruit extract. So now there was another study and I wanted to share this with you, whole coffee fruit extract increased BDNF. The first one was 137%. This next study was 91% after one hour, while a cup of brewed coffee increased it by 21%. So having a cup of coffee in the morning still improves BDNF, but four, all right, well, almost five, four and a half X more with taking the whole coffee fruit extract as a nutritional supplement. Pretty impressive. So the authors conclude that the polyphenol content of the whole coffee fruit extract is the most likely the primary contributing factor for these BDNF. There were now two newer studies that I wanted to share with you that I will also link up as well today. Another study found that whole, uh, that 100 milligrams of the whole coffee fruit extract increased BDNF by 143%. Typically, the improvement comes within two hours to three hours after consuming them. So one might say you might want to consume one at breakfast if you're using the supplement and maybe one in the evening. But if you find that maybe it increases energy too much or maybe even brain cognition, maybe you want to take one at breakfast and one at lunch. And then there was another study that found that uh, let's see, it doubles the amount of BDNF in the blood with whole coffee fruit extract. So pretty impressive. You can find whole coffee fruit extract from a number of manufacturers. Uh, we use a product over at Equalife called Daily Brain Support. That has not only the uh, whole coffee fruit uh, extract, which is talked about here at the 100 milligrams, because you do need the 100 milligrams, but also uh, contains cytocholine and other factors that are great for the brain as well. Again, there's many companies, uh, reputable companies, functional medicine companies that you can look for. Just make sure it's a true functional medicine-based company. And when you are exploring, do make sure that you're looking for that 100 milligrams of the whole coffee fruit 
extract specifically, all right? Hopefully this was helpful today. I'm gonna do a lot more studies and research for sure on the brain, but if this was helpful, go back, check out the top foods that you can add to your diet uh, each and every week, as well as additional nutritional supplements. I can't link up the nutritional supplement uh, that we use in our practice, but I can link up all the research today at episode stephencabral.com slash 2778, and uh, I'll let you take it from here. All right, everybody, take care. Have an amazing day. Share the show with anyone you feel it could serve. Thanks so much for tuning into today's show. Before you go, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. I want to make sure that you're getting our daily content, not missing out on anything. Functional medicine, wellness, weight gain, weight loss, anti-aging, living longer, stronger, and all of the most cutting edge research. And if there's any topics you want to hear, feel free to leave them in the comments below. Take care.